I've actually looked like the pits now, but my first radio interview is today, and my mom is listening to it in the room, so we're gonna go check. Are you crying? from a makeup post. So that's where I got the name fashion blogger from because that's what they called me. Alex is fashion blogger. I need to live up to this name. So I started my blog and yeah, like from there. It just kind of took off from this. And how did you find, you know, balancing having some sort of an online presence and then school? From school that I did, that I was doing, I had, I could choose what time I wanted to do it in the day or like if I wanted to do it at different times. So it was easy to kind of balance the two really. So yeah, that really worked out for me um, in terms of starting my business and getting it going. Quite the, um, the other people when they have, you know, people. <laughs> <laughs> the thing not to have that at the young age. That, that's super, super cool, right? So with over yeah. 20,000 followers, okay, was there ever a moment where you felt like what you were doing was not getting the response that you want um, at a time where like you said you could capitalize at something like YouTube was very new a couple of years ago so do you feel like you would because um, there's a lot of other people doing the same yeah, your thing your voice is looking very blue yeah. so yeah, great. you have to constantly be looking for creative ways to make your content okay, look that's not about your and constantly sometimes it does get a lot and there's a lot of pressure it's pressure to be as creative as possible like solely get I'd say scouted by brands online um it's also seen the car because they are so what are you saying <laughs> so I'd say give yourself space and you know that there's going to be something else that you are going to be successful very good on so don't really limit yourself yeah. to good. one thing yeah. and completely I agree with Love you because on, I think of it like it's about having fun and not like loving that. what you're doing pull it off enjoy <laughs> This is our celebration song. Oh, okay then. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, go doll. <laughs> She's jealous. She's jealous. She's jealous. <laughs> Don't say it's up to the outfit. She's still. I'm going from here because it's, I don't have freedom of speech. Oh, oh you see what like you did now. Freedom of judgment. I wasn't judging. Okay, so how do you feel? Wait, I need to just swap. <laughs> I feel very proud of you, Al. I'm so proud Thanks, of you, Al. And like, I actually literally cried. And when did you cry? I don't when see. I was, when I was listening. From when? To you, mm. you right? But good emotions, and I'm really proud of you, Al. And like, 18 never looked this good, darling. Thank you. And like, Thanks. all the regrets, I was just thinking of everything you've been through and how you've overcome. And it really touches my heart to see you and your sister doing so well. So, congrats, doll. Love you. Thank I'm you, so doll. proud of you. Love you. Can I just say that I was literally not prepared. I originally did not want to listen to my radio interview. I was dead ass sitting in the lounge and I was like, you guys go into my room. Oh, let me open my hair. I look so natural. Everybody was hyping me up and I was like, okay, like now I have to do it because everybody is like hyping me about it. So um, I ended up just coming last minute and then I sat here and I was like, oh my God, I should like definitely vlog this. I'm talking so fast, well. <laughs> Uh, that explains why I was looking so ratchet because it was literally last minute like the interview was already on and I was like oh my god I should vlog I should vlog this this is my first radio interview ton I feel great about it it actually went better than I thought it did and um, I'm so blessed to have everything that I have now and I can't wait to see what the future holds like there's just so much ahead and so much that I know I need to do but I'm starting to feel like my little tiny imagination dream 
is becoming a reality and that is honestly the best feeling ever. Clowny! Come and say how you feel about me. No. <laughs> No! <gasps> Good now. <laughs> I'll unblock you just now. Clowny, can you come and say how you feel about me, please? It's interviews now. <laughs> she's honestly just she's just annoying me now. That's why we think Okay, can you please say how you feel about me now? How I feel about you? How you feel? How I did? How you feel that I'm your sister? I feel that you did very, very well, and uh, you're only 18, and you've already accomplished so much in your life. Be proud of you. Oh, um, that's the end of my vlog. A very, very um last minute vlog. If you are new to my channel, please don't forget to like and subscribe.